Good morning. Just wait a little while to make sure we're definitely live. Are we live yet? As usual, please say if you can hear and see me. Yep. Can you hear me well? Yeah. Have you got your mic on? Yeah, I've got my mic on. Okay. Yes, cool. That's so weird hearing the delay. Yes, so today's quite an exciting day because you're going to watch live me and Nick jump off the side of the chateau. Um, so as I mentioned yesterday, Nick is setting me up with like a rope and harness situation. So when I'm working on the roof, especially the outside of the roof, I'm going to be nice and safe and strapped in. Now before at times, not very often, I was using the fall arrest harness, which was a pain. And that's why I stopped using it because the length of rope is so short. And if I fell off, I'd just be dangling there for hours until one of you guys came and saved me. So we're trying this new system, which is a proper climbing system for the first time live. Could be a disaster. Um, so I'm going to put the harness on. Nick's going to walk me through how to put everything on. Yeah. 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 And what things do. Let's see how it goes. Right. Gravina. Yeah. If you can see red, it's undone. Okay, got you. Nice. Change the colour. There you go. Step into that one. Right. Okay, yeah, do these up. Yeah, yeah. pull this. So this that goes up. And around you. And you have to, uh... It's quite a weird, surreal thing, you two dressing me. <laughs> yeah, back up. In it there? Uh, all nice and pretty for prom. That's like, that's what pretty snug. Does it want to be higher or not? You want to be able to stand up straight without it pulling. How's that feel for It you is there? pulling a little bit, yeah. You can just, oh, now you've got a front adjustment as well here. That's better. Which is easier. How's that feel on the back? Yeah, a bit tight on the old ladders, but fine. You need any movement forward? You need any I don't need any help with that bit now. No, moving forward. <laughs> 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 and everybody says that I'm the rude one. Yeah. Yeah? Make sure your legs I have dry. no idea if this is all strapped in, so I'm totally at your mercy, what by the way. What's in your pocket? Yeah, what is, take that, whatever's that in your pocket, out your pocket, because it will hurt, if not. <sighs> Winch them out. And the other one? Nice sharp pencil. What's wrong with that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've managed to take my knife out as well. I'm actually looking. I'll piece for that. That's bad. Right, what you've got there, make sure there's no red. Okay. So no red means locked. Yeah. And then you've got That's the only thing to close. That's the only thing that can open. Yeah. Got so you you totally and you got it round your legs, you've got lumbar support, you got it onto your shoulders. How's your movement forwards like that? Is that alright? Is that pulling too much? Alright. Sideways. Dunno, let's see. Take a while to get used to it, eh? Yeah. It's gonna have to uh, yeah, probably realised my mic was rustling that whole time. Do you reckon? I don't see why not. How about here, Nick, the back? Yeah, because yeah, when his legs are up. So does it want lowering or? If you lift your legs up. Yeah, he's saying so that wants to come more down, doesn't it? Uh, 
can yeah. clutch out like that. Hope you're all enjoying watching me. <laughs> uh, look at your legs up again now, Dad. How's that? Yeah, feel? it's miles better, yeah. Right. We might want to move over here now. Okay, so where are we working? We're going over that edge eventually. Yes. Okay, I'm all strapped in. Cameron's been pulling me all over my body. I think he's <laughs> been quite enjoying actually. Um, so I'm going to move you over to the wall so you can see us. We're going to do a bit of test on the ground and then, yeah, do a bit of hanging, hanging about. Uh, let me remember to move this camera and this camera. Um, yeah, so obviously it's not absolutely necessary that we jump off the side of the building. That is a bit for fun as well. But it is necessarily to get comfortable in the harness, hanging about and leaning back and working that way. So that's why we're just going to have a few practices in different scenarios. Where are we about there, Nick? Where yeah, are we? Yeah. <sighs> okay, that should be fine. This. Right, let me have a go. What is he going down with? Right, if we're going through that, screw gauge up again. That wants to be coming back out this way. Right, do I need to hold that? Right, lean back. Right, then when you push this Ooh, yeah. forward. Yeah, it releases it. Yeah. But there's not a slow release, is there? Or? Yeah, it, put your weight on it. You'll feel when it starts to... Got you, yeah. It's a lot easier when you're doing it to yourself, because you can feel... What, if you go quick like <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. You'd have to try some of it. Okay. Just and then the, then the idea with this is, because you're getting a similar one, but a lot more modern, <laughs> is on the side of it, there's various work positions. Right. So by bringing it round there. Completely locked, is it? That's it. It's not going to move. You are totally locked in now for working. I don't think I'm going to be having many kids after this. I think you're going to end up having to redo your harness because you're like... Try sitting more in it. Um, Move okay. forward and put your feet against the wall. Yeah. And actually sit in it like a seat. What, as in suspended? Yeah. Just sit, sit down. Whew. Yeah, that feels better. Feels very loose at the front. Is it meant to be like that? Yeah, because you've got movement away from you. Got you. If you have it too tight, you're going to be hunched up all the time. And you're going to have that right in your face. Yeah. Um, so that way to that release. Way to go down. Put your weight on it. Does that need to be specifically like that? Uh, or just no? out of the way. Just out because of the way. It comes in through it. It takes a little bit of getting used to that fine adjustment, but you, you, you see what I mean? Yes. You just, just, but the second I let go, it just, just will stop off. completely. Yeah. That's why it's safe. Okay. So you're walking across there, and if you slipped, as, soon as, as yeah. soon as you let go, the mechanism inside is designed just to lock but and yeah. hold you. But then at least, instead of just dangling, you've got the rope I going down the go. outside so you can either swing through the next window or all the way to the floor. Yeah, got you. I find that it'll be a lot, it's going to be a lot more comfortable when you're actually suspended off of it because they're meant to be worked in. The harness is set up right. When you're actually in it, you shouldn't be able to walk around properly. I've actually got out of a tree with a broken arm and a chainsaw before. Okay. Are you ready? No. Right. The next one. <coughs> Take this one. 
and I get, get myself confused with colour of ropes. So I know which way around I'm doing things. When you're actually working up there, as you'll find out in a minute as you move across, what the idea is going to be is you're going to be anchored in there, walk to that bit, but using one of these, you'll actually be supported from two ways. Right. So you can get a little bit of adjustment to come that way, and then you can take the slack in, or vice versa. Not yet. But we're working off these side ones. Yeah. So it's not only going to be putting all the weight there, it's going to be using your lumbar support around the back. Got you. Right. Check what people are saying to yeah. make sure nothing's they can hear us both. And Shit. That's fine. That was being This might need to come down a bit because it's quite in your beard. Yep. Well, good. Everybody no. seems to be hearing a specifically Nick's broken arm anecdote. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to give you a bit of confidence, obviously. That goes around like that. Right. These are totally different. You have to twist these open. Got you. There's various different technique types of... Uh, where's that getting clipped? That just, you just leave that dangling for a moment and I'll yeah. show you when we get up here. Okay. Uh, let's fire this one up. Uh, so we're going on the wall? We're going up onto a wall in a second, okay. yeah. Okay, let I'll me... I'll get up there first. <laughs> Do a thing. Is this good? It's just tight. Yeah. It's tight now. Put that in my pocket. That's proper sealed up there, Nick. Oh, the, the lock. The design to lock. That one. There you go. It's a set. It's an added safety with them. You can't just. Yeah. Okay. So let's go over the side of the wall. Um, Cameron's going to kind of film us going down when we start to descend. Then when we get halfway, he's going to run down to the bottom and film kind of the last little bit. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Well, we're going to do a bit of work on the wall to start with. Yeah, that's why I'll leave the camera just set up on the wall and then when we start going down, you just grab it. Yeah. You, need to go, you need to get over the wall all first. Will Dan be brave enough? Of course I'll do it. To leap, leap into the abyss. <laughs> Don't jump down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Um, Daniel. One good thing is, which I was saying earlier, is that this is quite a trust on my building and carpentry skills that we're abseiling off of the new roof structure. Yeah, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Robin, Nick believes. Do you want it off the connecting carabiner yeah. or the... He wants to go on the carabiner. This one, there. Yeah. Spin you around and ask. That one, Nick, or do you want it to be on the actual... This is the main carabiner? Yeah, this is the main one. Yeah, yeah. because then it's pulling on both points as opposed to more than one. As you're getting up, take your slack up. Just keep pulling it up. It keeps your rope tight. Careful though, you're twisted right now. Then you have to pull your rope out and lower it down over the edge. Have no fear, that's why I am here. I think it's more scary being up here with a harness on for some reason. Because you're not used to them. Yeah, and just, yeah. Your, in, your, your instincts are to be. So you, super overly careful and not lean back too far. Yeah. The equipment that you've got on is designed to literally go against your nature. You've literally got to learn to trust everything. Yeah. Which side do you want it? And when you get the hang of uh, trusting it, it's got I to... Well, it's going down, down his right-hand side, because mm. he's right-handed. Yeah. 
Just that, throw it down. That side's good for you there? Yeah. Yep, Pass it. See, as long as this goes down straight, it's not a problem with yours. Mine, I've got one in coming up with me. Okay, yeah. Yours is just fixed. Yeah, got yeah. So as long as it's... As long as it's a straight line down, straight then line it's okay. Down, yeah. 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 No, want you want to be coming behind the bee lazy bus, so it's coming over. So it's not in the way. When you push it forward got you. to descend. Like that? No. Other side of you and then that way? Yeah, you can take it down. I'll take just like no, hang that down. That way it's freeing you. That way it's just not okay. getting <coughs> you Right, if you go for a wander towards the camera. Okay. <coughs> just letting this out, just as normal. Yep. And then the idea with that bit that you've got around the side of you. Yeah. If you flick it round one of the uprights like that. Flip it back onto your opposite side ring, but under the rope. So you actually fasten it into here. If you pull down on the, the green knot. On that. Okay, yeah, got you. Let's it out. out. And then you pull on your tail to... Then if you get hold of it here, like that, past the current there, then just pull up a bit of slack, and then you just lean back on that bit. <laughs> Do you feel how it suddenly put everything yeah, to your lumbar? Yeah, Yeah, yes. And then on that, you see, you can move that way, release out, pull. I guess the problem is I need to do that to move. You have to I? move your belay, yeah. You need to be... Which way? Your belay, you twisted your belay, that's why. Not under that bit. You don't want to be there. Right, so that's fun. Going back, so when you're, when you're hung, it's going to be like that. Yes. And then you just want, you can use it like that. Back is release. And then to pull the tension up, you, right. just pull that ro you just pull that rope in front of you straight up. Okay. So if you put the weight on this rope, so lean that way. Let go of it. Yeah. Let go of it, twist it. Yeah, so you kind of fix at two points. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And, then you can and then you take, take your slack up with this, or you can loosen it out as you want to move. Yeah. And the idea is, as you're moving, you put the weight on that and you can take your slack up. You'll have to pull yours through like that. Yeah, I'll have to do the lever, yeah. Well, done. Does it pull up? But does it... Oh, yeah. So I don't you, you just pull, pull it, pull yeah. yeah. You, you just yeah. pull your slack through yeah. and you just take your slack up and you yeah. can move. And then when you get to where you want to be on your next one, you just check, make sure you tighten up. Yeah. Disconnect. Straight round your next one. Got you. Try to come over to this one. Uh, I don't want to because okay. I don't want to pull on that side. We'll brace more up this way. Uh, right, yeah. But the beauty is now you can do by using this pulley technique. <coughs> once you attach down there, you can move your actual All anchor points to where you're going to yeah. be working. Pull it, it's twisting pull down. <coughs> yeah, got it. And same when you're working up above, you can have a central anchor point, but as you're coming down the roof, you can use these to hold you where you need to be. Yeah. So now you're at this height, if you come in, so you're close, leave yourself strapped around there if you want to, okay. take up all your slack. <coughs> Yeah. And then just swing through the gap. What, just, is that way. Yeah, just, just, like just, that. Just, just sit down in the harness. <laughs> keep your weight on the harness. Keep your weight on it. Trust it. <laughs> there you go. Right, now try belaying with it where you've only got a small fall if you just overdo it and you go okay, too yeah, quick yeah, as yeah, opposed yeah, to yeah, it yeah, going yeah. off the side of the building. So to turn you around in case you go Do I need that? to hold this bit of rope? You can feed it in if you want to. <laughs> just wait a minute, it's just gone into that crack. That's it. Got you. 
Cool. But I can only go down yeah. realistically. With that, yeah. Without, you can come without back some up. serious effort. Yeah. yeah, to come back up, you'd actually have to pull yourself up on this and then take your slack up. Yeah. So, basically, if you fall, you've got to go down. Yes. But at least this way you can fall slowly. But look on the bright side. As soon as you get to the floor, you can't go any further. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was always my motto anyway. One way trip. I've always said it's not the fall that kills, it's a sudden stop at the bottom. <laughs> Don't be saying that to people that are about to watch me jump off the side of a building. It's not falling, it's flying slowly in style. <laughs> the worst bit's going over the edge, you know. Yeah, I can imagine it is, yeah. <laughs> the worst bit is when all, the whole roof frame follows us down the edge. <laughs> you just see me on the live stream like, well... I think I'm going to end it here. <laughs> if you just want to be double careful as you're going over the edge, if you use that strop, right? Because you, if you slip, you've got a double control. Okay. Is that long enough to get me over the edge? Yeah. Should be. <coughs> <coughs> Here's some slack. I'll put you on. Uh, try that one maybe. A bit closer to the. Yeah. Don't you've trapped as you want to be under the rope. Felt it as soon as. Okay. You happy? I think so. I mean, you have literally put all this together, so I have no idea if I'm happy or not, no. You'll see, as soon as you get down there, it's amazing. This won't be over the edge. Exactly. Climbing this down. over the edge is going to be the worst bit because we've got a lip as well. Yeah, how am I going to do both? So... Give yourself a little bit of slack like I've just done. On this one? Yeah. Yep. That's a catch. That should be good. And then just slowly belay yourself off at the back until you tight on that and then loosen that up again. Yeah, yeah. have you got cameras on? I've got this one running, that one's still running. As soon as we're over the edge, that tank can get turned off. Where's your wall gone? What wall? That wall. <laughs> found it. Get yourself centred. Oh, wicked. I've just found something. What? There's a ridge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You alright? Yep. Right. Get to there. How do I lower down from here? Stop knocking off bits of my chateau. That right. my... Put yourself some more slack on there. Get yourself a bit, a bit more. Take yourself a bit more down. Get yourself into a sitting position. And then you can take this off because then you'll already have your... No, it's not releasing. That's all the render off anyway. There. Yeah, so we're all doing right. a bit of taking render off. Where do I want to be sitting? From here? Yeah, like I said, just lower yourself backwards and you've got work between your two ropes. So you can get your feet onto the wall. Now that's lower Right, if down. you kneel down a bit further, 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 there. You What's feel there? there's a ledge. You oh, can yeah. stand on it. Right. Okay, right. yeah, so that's fine, yeah. We'll slack off a little bit on, on your zip line. You're coming to the end of it anyway, so you're gonna have to come up, it's gonna have to come off soon. Yeah. But then, like I said, just lower yourself, instead of trying to go down, lower yourself backwards so your feet are like, you can try and get your feet onto the wall like that. You see how I'm sat? You sat in your harness. You don't want to be stood on the wall. You want to be sat in it like a yeah. seat. Can yeah. you uh, just look us that up there? Yep. Tell us when you get there. Yeah, I think I feel better with this off now. Yeah. Right. Okay. Is this side you want off then? How can I do it while it's under tension? Like that. <laughs> don't pulling me. By me pulling you fits the wall. You right? Don't worry, I've got you. I won't let you fall yet. Hang on. All right, now. <laughs> okay, do you want to camera us off the edge? Just watch my camera as you grab it, but... Well, get that one, because I want to see pe people that see me go down. Yep. If You can change it from front camera to back camera, if that's easier for you. Yeah. <sighs>
<laughs> right. You right? Let me get used to just how much. Yeah. What, I lean right back? Yeah, just sitting down, it's just trust it. It feel weird not having anything to hold. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a window there. Why you put me over the window? Because you've got to get used to get dangling. Yeah, I want someone to, I don't want to just fly through. <laughs> <laughs> there's no be, slow on this, you <laughs> fooled me. If you feel safer, if you hold, if you, like, <laughs> there's no slow, it's only fast. <laughs> right. <laughs> Move this, this side of your legs. Right, hold this with your left hand. Yeah. And then work that, and feed it in as well. Okay, yeah, slightly slower like that. Yeah, control it with both hands. Yeah. Yours will actually be a lot more smooth. I mean, that, I think that must, that's got to be about 10, 12 year old. Oh, brilliant, yeah. No, I, I regularly use it. <laughs> it's what I did the land with. There's no slow. Oh, okay. by the way, there's no going back now. We're going down. <laughs> no, no, and no. You've got yeah. a long enough ladder. Yeah. Now I was gonna. Now I was gonna say. Now that you're suspended off the roof, you can answer some hard questions. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Hang on. Doesn't help half the chateau falling down, does it? You're doing fine. Okay. Now it's feeding nicely. That's better. Just like learning to walk all over again. Just. Up and down instead of backwards and forwards. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> okay, do you want to come down and meet us at the bottom? Meet you at the bottom? Yeah, you've got to get down in a minute because he doesn't realise something. What? Nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm right in the window, yeah. yeah. Go, go. <laughs> Yeah, it's better controlling it with the other hand. It's a bit too not. It's, yeah, it's, it's go or stop. It's, it's not getting much used to it. Yeah. It's getting used to it. But I feel like grabbing that's probably not good for me. But yeah. But at the end of the day, its basic idea. Hello, everyone. The basic idea is all that's for is to get you from wherever you fell to a safe position. Yeah. It's not meant to be like this, where I'm yeah, up and down a tree yeah. all day, every yeah, day. Yeah. You've got the gentle loop while you actually got support and you're walking around, you can move yeah, around. Not, yeah, I'm not going to be using it like this. Yeah. yeah, you're not, it's not designed to be abseil with regular, but it's in for a situation to get you out of, out, out of the building onto safe ground yeah. or through a window. Because as you'll find out in a minute, if you'd fallen down there, you could step into that window. Yes. So you've only got to come two, three metres yeah. down. It's quite nice because we just realised that Nick has positioned me right in front of a window. So as I'm abseiling down, um, I just end up falling into the window, which is quite nice. So that was nice of him for the first time. Right, you come in. Meet yeah, you down. So I'd give them a little look into the life of Dan and Nick. Right, get yourself so you sat at about that angle. Because otherwise you're going to face plant the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Let yourself into the wall now. Don't do it straight away because you're just going to go smack. <laughs> you have stitched <laughs> me up so bad here. Yep. <sighs> yeah. You what, see? Just go. Yeah, now you can just go down. What was that? Me. <coughs> How do you do it gracefully? <laughs> Here's the practice. Yeah. Oh. Here's the practice in hurting yourself like you've just done. <sighs> no, it didn't hurt, it just wasn't very hard. Yeah. I'm just not my GoPro somewhere. Uh -oh. That's what fell down. See? 
No, that was where I just jumped off then. It was the last one to go off. That poor tent gets hammered. Uh, okay. See, you're still alive. <laughs> My legs are a bit jiggly, jittery. <laughs> uh, <all right>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yes. So, that's where we were. This is where we are now. Bit scary. Nick stitched me up as well, put me over a window, which was nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, so basically, like I said, we're not going to be doing that sort of thing all the time or necessarily at all. It's just for me working safely up there, but it's nice to know how to control it a little bit, you know, in the most scary situation. Yeah. Yeah, hope you enjoyed all that. Anyway, so you'll see it tonight in the vlog <coughs> as well as some other bits as well. So I'll see you all tonight. Bye.